All right, so uh, using the climate viewer here, uh, the biome viewer. Um, so you got, you got it laid out like earth and sometimes it gets like kind of weird, but if you hit the end, then it'll, it'll put it back right. I usually just click this button to turn it into like more of a map because it's a little easier for me. But let's say uh, we want to know about the climate and the wildlife in the our biome before. So we can click on, uh, look, they're giving us, oh look, Ohio, how fun. I don't know where long stretch is, but it looks like it's in Ohio because it says Ohio. So when you click on it, you'll see over here, we've got our little climatogram and it'll, it'll actually give you, you got precipitation and temperature. So if you're looking for the highs and the lows, just look at your lowest and your highest value for your temperature. And then, you know, lowest and highest, so they ask you what's the lowest and highest for precipitation. You might have to squint in there on this one. If we hit the more button, it gets a little bigger, it makes it a little easier to see. Remember, the temperature on these is gonna be shown in degrees Celsius. Precipitation here is shown in millimeters. So if you want to like get some reasonable, what's that in American, you can, you can Google it. We click on wildlife, that'll give you a lot of detail about the animals. If you want to see what plants grow there, that's in the description in this part where it says what grows. So hopefully that should make uh, everything a little bit easier to find and make your answering a little bit better. And looks like, oh, they're giving you the, the high and the low temperature right there. So made even easier than looking at the graph. Hopefully this helps.